A lot of people have questions on how to use the Estes motors in kits that have screw-on engine retainers. That's what I'm going to cover in this video. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Today I'm going to cover the topic of putting Estes engines in kits that have a screw-on engine retainer. The advantage of a screw-on engine retainer is that it eliminates the need to put in an engine block inside the rocket motor mount. And a lot of people are really confused about this because when you build smaller kits, an engine block is almost always required. But in high power engines or mid power rockets like this one right here, they're going to use F's and G size engines. The engine block is not put in the tube. It's actually put in on the back of the rocket engine. And there's a reason for this. Okay, so here I have several different 29 millimeter diameter engines, and it's the same for 24 millimeters as well. But you can see that they come in different lengths. And so if I decided to fly my rocket on this engine, which is a nice short one, if you put an engine block inside, you would put it in at the length of the engine right here. But now, if it's already glued in there, I can't use an engine that's longer because it would hit that engine block inside and it would hang out the back really far. So to get around that problem, what we now do is the engine block is built into the rocket motor itself. And so this 29 millimeter has one, this one has it, this one has it. This is the nozzle end right here. This is just an orange cap to hold the igniter in. But the Estes rocket motors, because they have a paper case, don't have that engine block already built into it. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to build one up on the engine itself out of tape. And this is, if you look at the Estes instructions, this is what they recommend. And this is also what we recommend here at Apogee. So what we'll do is we'll wrap tape around and then we're going to cut off any that hangs over the edge because we only need about one quarter inch of tape on the rocket. So now, <clears throat> theoretically, you could just buy quarter inch wide tape like this right here. And you can get this at an automotive store. Um, it's used for pinstriping um, and so that you can buy it in one quarter inch widths. But if you don't have that, regular masking tape will do. And so you'll find the nozzle end. And we only need about one quarter inch hanging on the, on the tube itself. So there's about one quarter inch. And so all this right here is excess, but that's okay. We're just going to cut it off and it cuts off pretty easy. So you want to wrap the tape around the engine. And we're going to want to go about six to eight layers. So we get a nice big beefy ring on the back. Okay, so here, that's probably pretty good. You can kind of compare the thickness right here to the thickness right there, and that's approximately what you want. So now you have to cut off all this excess here, and that's pretty easy to do. You just take a hobby knife, and you just plunge it in, and then you just use the front uh, edge of the rocket motor to kind of guide your blade around as you go around. So you just kind of use it like a sawing motion to kind of trim that off. And you can do this on the field itself, so you don't have to do this the night before, but if you want, you can do it that way. Okay, so now we have a thrust ring built on. And a lot of people are afraid to use tape 
thinking that that tape is somehow going to slide off, allowing the rocket motor to slide through and go up into the rocket itself. But it's not. It's not it's not going to slide. You can push on it really hard. That tape is really strong. Um, and then the other thing that it does is uh, with the screw on engine retainer, um, it just locks it down. So it prevents the motor from coming out as well as sliding through. So that is the recommended method of using the Estes motors in kits that have a screw on engine retainer. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. And once you subscribe, hit the notification bell. And the notification bell, what that does is sends you an email alert every time we release a new video. That way you'll see them first as we, we produce them every week. Um, so my name again is Tim Van Milligan. You've been watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. And so may the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.